Oh, the bill, how much is it? Do you know? It was at this moment that he knew. He f Right, people, welcome to another episode of Calvin's Car Dealership. For those that are new to my channel, basically, we've set up a, a car dealership specifically for YouTube so we can display the sort of pros and cons, the, the ups and downs, the buying and selling of a used car dealership. We recently bought this uh, Volkswagen Golf GTI Mark 7. It's a performance pack car. It's actually categorized. I bought it for a subscriber of the channel for £7,000, but it does need a bit of TLC. And in today's video, we're going to be getting this car prepared for sale. And I suppose the motive of this whole series on this specific particular car is can we earn money out of a categorized car? Right then, so Mark 7 Golf GTI Performance, proper cool car, three door, still got the original diamond cut wheels on it, and it's just a nice all round car. It is a shame it's categorized, it is just category N. I think it might even be Cat, cat D because it happened a few year, years ago. They're considered to be similar Cat D and Cat N, so uh, nothing too horrendous. You can see it's had bits of paint uh, here, there, and everywhere. Uh, we need to get the car prepped for sale, right? Obviously, we want to, the aim of the game is to try and earn money out of it. The tough thing with a car trade, which I realised a long, long time ago, is you can't get your own thoughts or your own desires wrapped up in the business too much. Because if you do that, you're going to lose money. Ultimately, no not matter who you are, what you're doing, when you're in business, you're doing business to earn money, right? So if this was my own car, as an example, like personally, um, I'd put a full set of Michelins on it, yeah? I'd put, put the best tyres I possibly could on this car uh, if it was my own car. Like, this car's got P0s on it, which are great tyres, don't get me wrong, but personally, I prefer Michelins, all right? So if they're good tyres, they're legal, they've got a good amount of tread on them, they need to stay. You can't just be spending money willy-nilly. Um, the rear wiper delete, that's been done. Personally, I don't like that. Oh, that that's just not me, man. Uh, but it's not. I'm not doing this for me. The mo wiper motor is in the boot. Yeah, I'll quickly show you. There you go, got the wiper, uh, the wiper and the motor. So, yeah, I'm sure that's not too much of a big job to put back on, but it's hard to know, isn't it? If we can get it done affordably, then maybe we'll get it put back on. But then you never know, the person that buys the car eventually might decide that they actually prefer it with a wiper delete. So you're kind of constantly considering who that perfect buyer is or the potential buyer is, but you don't actually know until you've met them. Other stuff that I would probably do is what would I do? I'd get it stage two tuned. I would want this car stage two tuned personally, but uh, one, it costs money, and two, it's not kind of, it's not ideal for resale. So it's all personal stuff. I'd get the steering wheel retrimmed as well. I love a retrimmed steering wheel, but again, you know, it's got the original steering wheel, it's got the red, sti uh, red stitching on the inside there. People love an original steering wheel, so uh, we're not going to be jumping at getting that done either. So the purpose of this video, as I mentioned, is we're going to be taking the car to VRS in Northampton today uh, to begin the prep work on this car. We know cosmetically it needs a bit of love, uh, mechanically, it seems to be pretty good, but I thought the priority needs to be getting the mechanical stuff checked over first. We're going to get it all checked over by VRS. We're going to get a health check done here, pre-delivery inspection, make sure it's all good. And once it's mechanically sound, because that's potentially the expensive stuff, uh, we can then look at getting the bodywork done. Uh, it's, the front wings are a bit damaged. The wheels need doing. All the cosmetic stuff, we can get that done as well. I notice it needs a wheel arch liner as well on the front uh, near side wheel. Pretty sure it is. All the cosmetic stuff can come after the mechanical stuff, yeah? We've just got to make sure it's mechanically sound first. So let's get to VRS. Straight away, we've begun driving. I notice when you stop, is he going to do it now? Is he going to do it? It's not doing it. There's a little bit of a grind on the brakes, but I think that's probably from where it's just sat around for the last few days. Um, but yeah, when you stop sometimes, let's see if it does it now. Wait for it, wait for it. Is it gonna do it? Parking sensors just start bleeping and playing up. So there's definitely a fault with the parking sensors. Let's just switch that off. Uh, but that's just normal categorized car stuff. I kind of hope that it's nothing, but that's definitely nothing to do with the ACC. But there was another, when we test drove this car, there was something along the lines of the ACC that I thought could be an issue. And I know full well that if this car needs a new adaptive control uh, unit on, in the front bumper, which it might do because it's been in an accident, you know, that's part of the front end of the car. Um, and we assume that it is a front end damaged car. Uh, then that unit, they're expensive, they're a pain, you've got to get them recoded -code, to the car. It's a, it's a mission, so I really, really hope it doesn't need one of them, but so far there's no lights on the dash. Um, I obviously test drove it when I bought it and it, it was all good, um, but we shall see. This is my first long journey in this car. Let's hope it gets to VRS in one piece. It is categorized, like I keep saying, so I'm not expecting perfection, but I am not hoping, not hoping that, that I don't have any horror stories because we need to make a profit on this car, don't we? In fact, problem number two is the indicators are bleeping 
at stage two speed. <laughs> They're just going mental. So again, might just be bold, but it's definitely related to, um, I would I, I guess, a logical guess, I'd say it's definitely related to the fact that it's had an accident. So, But it actually drives really well, like steering wheel straight. It's pulling correctly, it's not pulling to one side, and I think, let's just have a little feel for the brakes. It sounds good as well. It's apparently had a res delete, which I think is quite cool. Um, it's driving all right. Cool, so we've arrived at VRS. That's the bleeping sound. That is the bleeping sound. It's like the parking sensors have kicked in, but they haven't kicked in. I think that's, that is T.R. Hamza's um, Golf R there. They're doing, I think they're doing a stage three project on that car. He's been doing bits of VRS as well, which is cool. Uh, I've actually never met T.R. Hamza. I've seen a lot of his content on YouTube. He's a wicked YouTuber. Uh, so hopefully he's here so we can meet him and see what the crack is with his Golf R. S3's over there. We're obviously here today to collect the S3. Uh, which you lot probably, I don't even mention that. We're collecting S3, that's a Planet Dreams car. That's getting given away for uh, for free. You can win that car for free. I will link Planet Dreams in the description below. That's also getting prepared for Planet Dreams. Uh, so it'll be interesting to see how they're getting on with that. And I am also filming a whole separate video on that car as well today. Um, but that's not going up to hell, all right? Let's just go see Will. Right, Will, so we are back with another car, but this one's a little bit different. So, I suppose it's different. We use these for a lot of the cars that being cut to yep. repair cars. And, you know, you stuff, repair yeah, a lot of the stuff BMWs, for yeah. being cut. Yeah, today we're obviously uh, doing this preparation on the Golf GTI yep. for Calvin's car dealership. Yes. The new series on the channel. That's so, right, yeah. um, this car, I bought it, is categorized. It's okay. a black. <laughs> It's categorised. Because <laughs> it would be too, it would just be boring if I bought a nice fresh. Yeah, yeah, well, that's, you know, there's, there's no, uh, no content then, is there? There's nothing to talk about, is so there? It's had air ride on, you say? It previously had air ride. Okay. You can see damage on the arches. Yeah, just where it's caught the lips. I mean, a body shop would be able to sort that, wouldn't it? Yeah, so the idea, my sort of way of thinking was get the mechanical stuff done first. Yeah. Make sure it's all good mechanically, and then we can go away and get all the cosmetic stuff done. Yeah, of course, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. So, I think looking around the car, I've had a brief look, but it doesn't look like a bad car, to be fair. Obviously, the wheels really want doing it RRT if yeah. you're going to sell it with the wheels refurbished. No, no, we're going to get the wheels done, definitely. So, yeah, okay. Uh, and it's got a rear wiper delete, yeah. which we just talked about. Mm -hmm. And I, I know you said if it was yours, you'd have it back on. Yeah. And I was like, well, if somebody wanted a wiper delete and you remove it, <laughs> exactly they've got to redo it. So it's kind of like, I think the my, purely my opinion is that sell it as is mm -hmm. with the because it's got the old parts there to put back hasn't it yeah yeah so then maybe if the customer is going to purchase it wants to put it back it can then be put back yeah but if they want to keep it with a wiper delete then mm. they can just keep the parts and Drop then down. sell it when they're selling it with the parts yeah, as well yeah, of so course. Um, um yeah it, it's got a full i think with the parking sensors they just bleep at random okay. points obviously it's categorized you said yeah, a lot. it could be unrelated to be fair because the sensors are now 10 years old yeah and they, okay. they do corrode so mm -hmm. uh, or it could have a, a the wiring plug for the bumper might be off do you know where it, where the damage was, it was the front front end damage so okay. but i don't know exactly what we've got no previous pictures um it was a good few years ago as well so yeah so it's been all right since hasn't it so behind the bumper here the down down in this corner there's a wiring plug okay so if the wiring was damaged potentially we could just repair the wiring or if a sensor might be unplugged or something like that so but we can look at that, but that, that again that's all part of the so we're going to do like a, a 180 just a general whatever it is yeah, yeah yeah just look over the whole car a bit of yeah. a health check make sure it's all good if you find anything we can get it we can get it repaired yeah. it's actually been serviced recently i think yep. it's done 91,000 miles it's serviced at 90,000 miles okay so but you can we'll have, have a, a look at the oil and stuff like that and if the oil looks clean then we'll pull the plugs out check those check the air filter i mean to check all the stuff's just part of what we do anyway so it's pretty standard and then stuff, we'll, we'll go around all the suspension and make sure that's all okay because obviously it's had it refitted so we'll make sure it's been refitted properly and that the dampers aren't leaking and things like that and springs aren't broke yeah it doesn't look like they are so i did wonder that is it quite a big job re removing air when, rods when you remove air rod it depends how well it was installed yeah installed yeah. so if if it had like a boot build Mm -hmm. you know which is basically the air tank all shown and stuff like that that might be a lot of work but if it was just um like an air x kit which is a box like a you, you know you used to get the sub box with the amp and all yeah, the stuff in, all in integral. the air x kits are like that mm -hmm. so you just kind of plug it in ah. the power power earth and an, an airline so 
Um, if it had that in it, for argument's sake, then it would have been fairly easy to remove. OK. But it depends where they ran the airlines. Normally they run them underneath the undershield, so we'll just check all those have been refitted properly. Wicked. And, and all that. So. OK. It's even had a recent MOT, so I think from that point of view it'd be good. I obviously drove it up here today. It drives really well. Yep. Uh, by the things I've mentioned. I mean, in the engine bay, it all looks like everything's clipped in as it should be, so it's not like someone's had it all to bits and yeah and, and done loads of changes so what we'll do we'll just look into it like this if you look like the engine covers missing and like the bits for the engine cover but i've got these kind oh, of really bits. yeah so I'll, i can obviously check all that and just see what um i think you know, it, see what's been done i think so. it was this side you can see a bit of rust on the bolts there and it, it has had paint on that side of the car see the inner well. wing actually looks okay yeah it does so, it, so i'd probably say if anything it could have had a wing and suspension damage potentially yeah. for it to be a because what what's it's a cat, cat it's, actually, it's actually cat d so it was years ago oh yeah. wow okay so so cat d is no chassis damage then is it so, nah, no, from no, what no. i can remember yeah so yeah that well, would be good all we'll, right so we'll, we'll look through it all yeah wicked and see I'll, what it's like yeah i'll leave it with you i'm put back in the next few see days see how much of a good <laughs> good or bad car it see is. how much of a lemon it is <laughs> no i'm sure it'll be all right, <laughs> it'll be all right. It'll be did you buy it from the subscriber yeah i bought it from a subscriber yeah and uh yeah he loved it he just needed a five door car wanted out of it he bought a categorized car because it was better value for him to buy one so yeah of course yeah i mean if you save money you save money Saving if you're not money. bothered about that it doesn't matter does doesn't it doesn't matter does it no. so as long as the car and if it's been like that for years it's obviously safe yeah otherwise it would have been dealt with already wouldn't it so. exactly that exactly cool. that cool all right Good. cheers will Right, this is another day as a used car dealer. We are en route to go and pick up the uh, Golf GTI because it's apparently ready. Uh, but we had a little bit of an issue yesterday at Bing Car because uh, basically a mechanic, you know the Renault Megane that I've done a video on recently? That is due for a service, right? So the mechanic come to Bing Car, picked it up uh, with his tray plate in the window. He drove it to his garage. En route to his garage, he decided he wanted to go to Matalan. So he's parked his car into Matalan, gone into Matalan. I'll say his car, my car. Come back out and um, the guy over there just proper staring at me thinking what the bloody hell is this guy doing filming at where he is i'll tell you where i am shortly um <laughs> please it involves police and uh yeah the police then saw the car in the car park because he took his tray plate out of the window and it's then got no tax no insurance they then just thought well this car is no, not taxed it's not insured it's got to be taken away so they took the car away he come out and was like where's the bloody car gone um, and this here at a police compound, which is where I'm stood right now, right? So obviously because I'm the owner of the vehicle, um, I have to be the man collecting the car. So yeah, it's been a busy 24 hours. I could do without this. I'm gonna quickly collect them again, and then we're gonna head to, um, to I'm gonna turn around because the mechanic's behind me there. He wants to stay out of shot, he's just over there. Uh, and then we're gonna head to BRS and collect the uh, Golf. But look at these cars, some of these cars are in bad states. I don't even wanna, sort of um, talk about them because people might genuinely have been injured in some of these cars, but that MR2 over my shoulder, oh my God, I hope whoever was driving that is all right. Right, let's go get the Megane, then go to BRS. It's a Renault Megane, silver sporty one. Yeah, it's a silver sporty one. So, can you say that again? Yeah. Oh, is it? Good to meet you, man. Yeah. You come to pick up your car? Well, my car got yesterday. Oh, what? No way, what car is it? Are you okay though? Yeah, I'm alright. Were you in the car when it had an accident then? Yeah, I was. Yeah. Really? So, what is it time for a new car then? Yeah, it is, man. Do you live in Milton Keynes yeah. then, dear? I live in Ellsbury. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, man, well, I'm glad you're okay. Thank yeah. you, mate. Oh, thank you very much. Cheers, mate. That's it. Very cool car, right. You got your tray plate? No, oh, he's on insurance. Oh, okay. I put it yesterday. Okay, cool. So we'll leave you to it, yeah? All right, thanks, man. <laughs> Don't do it again, right? Right, so we've arrived at VRS. You know what, it cost me 170 quid to get that car out of the compound earlier. 170 pounds. It's actually the second time that's happened in the last couple of months. We won't talk about the first time, but it was, it was, that was actually quite a funny one. So uh, what we've got, we've got a nice little Porsche 911 Carrera 4S. Wicked car to buy. If that's like proper good future investment, man. They just seem to drop to 20 grand. They never ever drop below 20 grand. But we're not here to talk about that. We're actually here to obviously pick up the Golf GTI, find out what the problems we had with it. Uh, hopefully, it's fully prepared, ready to sell now by the bodywork, and also get the um, find out what the cost of doing all these repairs are. Behind me here, I've got the A45 AMG. Obviously, this is here. I don't know if the video has gone live yet on this car. I think it has. Um, this car. Yeah, it needs a bit of TLC, it's got a few problems, uh, but we have made quite a cool discovery about this car. I don't want to talk about it too much because that video might not have even gone up yet. 
Anyway, let's go see Will and find out where he's at with the Golf GTI. All right, so uh, Will, we are back. This few was it a few days, a few couple week or so later yeah, now. Yeah, it's about a week actually. Yeah, yeah. It's not been too long. So it's not been too long at all. GTI is done, ready for you. Wicked for sale. Yeah, we're gonna put it for sale. Yep. So obviously we've not done anything to the body. You're getting pennings, pennings to do that. Yeah, that's good. So we've inspected the car, and it's actually quite. It was all right. Obviously it's had um, the wings need modifying, not, not repairing, repairing etc. Yeah. But where the wheels had rubbed through the wheel arch liners before, because uh, it had had air, it had air rise. So the wheel arch liners were pretty badly damaged, weren't they? Yeah, it's because when they sit on them with the big wheels and stuff, they rub through. So it's got brand new, genuine wheel arch liners, both sides, both pieces. There's two pieces on each side. Yep. They've been done. It had a parking sensor fault, mm -hmm. um, which was this parking sensor here, the middle right. Okay. So it's had a new sensor and the pins were green in it and one had snapped off in the sensor. Mm -hmm. So we've repinned the plug with new pins and we've replaced the sensor. That's all working perfectly now. Brilliant. So that's done. Um, it had a bracket missing from the bumper here. Oh, okay. Which holds the top in, so it wasn't fitted very well. It was like £30. Pounds, oh. So we've got a new one of those. That's all back oh, in now brilliant. in the pucker. So that's done. Um, it had already been serviced a thousand miles ago, according to the service book. Mm -hmm. But um, I think it had maybe a minor service. Um, we've checked everything else and we've put a new set of plugs in it. Okay. Because the plugs are quite old. So we've done the plugs. It's also, um, it had a, uh, it's not a miss on tick over, but it was a little bit rough running. Mm -hmm. yep. These suffer from the inlet camshaft uh, magnet and valve, which is for the cam variating. So it, it, it advances and retards the cam. So what happens is um, the magnet fails and then the cam sort of like moves around on its own. So we replace the cam magnet and the valve behind it. So that's been done. It's quite a common fault on these. Oh, really? So that was done as well. Uh, okay. We had um, faults in the ACC and the ABS and the indicators were flashing fast on they the dash, yeah, yeah. but flashing properly on the car. Mm -hmm. So which would indicate a potential coding fault. So we've done a full SVM on the car. So we've recoded the whole vehicle back to standard. Okay. Uh, those faults have all gone now. Oh, so wicked. that's completely done. It, it had a mirror fitted to the driver's side, which had no folding motor in it and no puddle light. So we've sourced a second-hand mirror, mm -hmm. genuine and replace that and oh, that's all wicked. fully working now oh, that's all that's done wicked. that's um, probably from where it was in an accident they've replaced a the part and then not put it, it, crit I, part on. i, I don't know if that was to do with the accident or not i mean it's a driver's mirror they get knocked off yeah and yeah. it's 350 quid plus that for a mirror yeah. genuine so people tend to buy a non-gen mirror mm -hmm. or buy say an ebay new part fit fit it because it's cheaper yeah but obviously they probably weren't aware it didn't have a motor or something like that yeah yeah so Easily done. We, we've sourced a mirror i think it was about 160 quid plus that oh wicked. whereas a non-gen non-motor mirror is 179 so it was cheaper to actually do it properly yeah yeah, <laughs> than not, yeah, but yeah obviously course. you know not everybody realizes so <laughs> I mean, um so that that was done do you want to just drop it inside oh. yeah okay cheers so just put it on the counter yeah that's fine mate right, no problem so um, so then we've, uh, the brakes, um, it's had new discs, new pads all around, the rear brakes were done. Oh, so it did need, need brakes yeah, then, the they rear, were squeaking a bit? Yeah, the rears were done oh. and the fronts were rusty on the in, inside. So we've replaced the front distant pads and the rear distant pads. Um, so th that's all done as well. It's got a modified exhaust, it's just a Resdelete. Okay. So it looks like a VAG Sport one, which are quite good. So they basically, you cut out the centre box and you have a sleeve either side and a straight pipe. So it's still got the back box, yep. but it's had the um, centre res delete done. That's previously done, so, yeah, but that's yeah. fine. That's you just cool. get a little bit of a nicer exhaust note. Mm -hmm. um, and that, that's pretty much it, really. Mate, that's wicked. Yeah, so all in all, cool. if you look at the car, it's not actually that bad a car, really. No, 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 it's a nice car. It's a really so, nice car, especially now it's given you... So now you, you, you can, I presume you're overall. getting the wheels done. Yeah, so what we're going to be doing now is it's going to be going to Pennings to get the, the wings sorted. Yep, it's got a little, bumper. I want to get that bumper sorted yeah, as well. Yeah, definitely. I was a little bit concerned about the ACC because we had an issue with one of them for a Binker stock car a few yeah. months ago, didn't we? And um, yeah, I'm glad that that's all all right because that's an expensive repair, isn't it? Uh, it can be, yeah. Uh, unfortunately, yeah, because I remember actually we did a job for a yeah. lady in and she couldn't have been any further away. She was like Wales or something. That's and it. And had to get the car picked up and then we couldn't find the correct ACC one. In, in, in the end, we actually found one. Didn't it was we? a manual Golf GTD, yeah. I think, wasn't it? And it was just a like nightmare. Yeah, <laughs> nightmare. <laughs> so I'm so glad. Like, yeah. I am scarred for life 
why ACC units no, on the um, exactly. golf. But yeah. And so it, once the wheels are refurbed and the body's done, it'll be. It'll be a nice yeah, car. I mean, it's still categorised, but you know, I. I mean, I had a quick look around it. I was going to it. ask you that. Was it, is it all right? Yeah, I mean, it looked all right. So oh, I don't know there's any major... I don't know what, what the damage was, so... But it it was right many years ago, anyway. So, yeah. yeah, it's been on the road ever since. Cool. So that's, that's good. Yeah, Look that it. was it. Thanks. Oh, the bill, how much is it? Do you know? I don't know. I don't know either. <laughs> what we'll do, I'll do it and send it yeah, and then you can flash it up on the screen. Wicked. All yeah. right, cool. Thank you, Perfect. <laughs> Cheers. So, Wicked, that is the uh, mechanical side of the Golf GTI done. Obviously, I wanted to get the mechanical stuff done first because I find... I just think that if there's anything majorly mechanically wrong with a car, you don't want to be getting all the bodywork done and stuff before you discover a big problem with the mechanics. So mechanically it's good, it's, have a good had, it's had an overall health check now, uh, but obviously we need to get the wheels and the bodywork done. So it's going to go from here to Pennings in Milton Keynes, shout out to them, they're going to be doing a bit of bodywork on the car for us. They can also refurb wheels as well, so gonna, it's, we're going to get it there, get it all done, hopefully, that's the plan. Uh, that's all going to come in a separate video though, so currently we've spent £7,000 on the car, we've spent that much money on uh, the mechanical side of the stuff because I don't actually know what it is yet and uh, the car's value is hopefully as much as £10,000. Obviously we yet to spend the money on the bodywork and I will talk to you about that as well once that's done. But the way the car's come out I'm really pleased with it. So uh, make sure you subscribe for the upcoming videos on this car and up, up and coming Calvin's car dealership videos. This car won't go on the dealership yet for sale because it needs to get the bodywork done. Uh, we've got to get it cleaned and get all the other stuff done as well. Uh, but yeah hit subscribe if you're new. Hit like as well if you like this video and um, let's hope we can make a little profit on this car. See you in the next video.